Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dr. Guy in and I wanted to respond to today's question of the day on Evaluated Mr. Right, Eliminated Mr. Wrong. Check us out on Facebook. But um, first, thank you to everybody who responded to the question. And so what is the question? The question is, should a man be able to visit your home on the first date for y'all to relax, chill, hang out? Or are you visiting his home on the first date to relax or whatever? Um, is that acceptable? And so, um, again, thank you to everybody who responded, but I'm going to give my response. I do not think there's a time it is ever acceptable for a guy to visit your home on the first date or you visit his home on the first date. Because one is, if this is a new person, you don't know him. Two is that if you do know him, you are looking at each other in a different lens now because it's called dating at this point. That's why it's called a first date. And so... I want to look at this from two different angles. You got Mr. Right and you got Mr. Wrong. That's what we talk about, Mr. Right, Mr. Wrong. So, Mr. Right, how does he process you coming to his home on the first date or you allowing him to come into your home on the first date? Mr. Right is evaluating you for the purposes of a relationship. That's the whole reason he's Mr. Right, because he's a guy that's serious about a relationship. And so, he's evaluating you from day one. And when you allow him to come into your home and y'all relaxing and chilling and hanging, you allow him into your personal space on day one. And so what does that say about you? And now it doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're a whole. It doesn't mean any of those things. But then again, it meant that he got into your personal space quickly. And so sometimes he can process that as it being a little too easy because some guys want the chase. They want a challenge. And it does say something about you if you say, you know, you can't come into my home on the first date. You know, I respect myself that much. That's what it says. You respect yourself enough to not allow a guy into your space. I'm not saying that you're a bad person. I'm not saying that all guys process it this way. But I do know a lot of Mr. Rights, that's the way they process it. And so it could come back to hunt you is what I'm saying. Not always, but it could come back to hunt you. Now, on the other side, let's talk about Mr. Wrong. Now, at one point in life, I was somewhat Mr. Wrong. I wasn't never extreme Mr. Wrong, but let's talk about Mr. Wrong. Mr. Wrong sees it as an opportunity. You allow him into your house on the first date. He's saying, man, her guard is down. One day I'm going to hit this because she let me in too easily. Or she's chilling in my spot on the first date. So he sees it as an opportunity to get what he wants eventually because he got into your personal space so quickly. And so it could come back to hunt you because now he sees you as an object. He sees you as somebody he can get to sexually or whatever easily because you allow him into your personal space. Because if it's Mr. Wrong and you say, you know, you can't come into my space because I respect myself too much, he's probably going to run because he knows that you are going to be a challenge. That's the way you get rid of Mr. Wrong. You get rid of Mr. Wrong whenever you set boundaries. And so a part of setting boundaries is saying that you can't come into my space or I'm not coming to your space on this first date. I'm not coming to your space on the fourth date. And that's setting boundaries. And that's uh, you gain respect that way, especially with Mr. Right. Mr. Wrong is just going to run because he's saying, you know what, she's not going to give me what I want. So I have to go. And so that's the answer to my question. No, it is it's never, ever acceptable to go to each other's house on the first date, all right? So go check us out on Facebook. The group is Evaluating Mr. Right, Eliminating Mr. Wrong. It's a brand new group, but we are having a good time on there. Uh, great advice. So God bless all of you, and let's just have some fun with this.